Hello and welcome to the Tiny Car Guys podcast, episode 35, Giant Arachnids. Oops, am I extending me a Snapchat that I'm not going to open? Today I'm joined by the interrupting asshole. <laughs> Art noise. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm also joined by Sam. Yo. And last but not least, Cheerio. How's everybody doing today? Pretty good. That's good. I can't complain too much. Um, I'm here. Just here? Yeah. What about you, Matt? Uh, I I am here as well. <laughs> you cut it a I'm little close to me. It. <laughs> uh, you woke me up. <laughs> oh, I did? <laughs> That's hilarious. With Snapchat, that's awesome. If I hadn't put my phone on, if I'd put my phone on vibrate, um, I probably would have slept through it. So what? Up like eleven. You've been so you've been doing overnights on Tuesday into Wednesday. Um, that was actually just the one week because of oh. the uh, increased amount of tags. Yeah. Yeah. We, Mike and I were taking guesses, and we said that you either had a headache or you had fallen asleep. Uh, Which... You're both right, actually. <laughs> well, we both said both, so we were both right. double right. Which makes you both wrong? Two, two rights uh, don't make a wrong. But three lefts do. So, okay, we'll just make them steal any right. left body parts, anybody. Anyway, <laughs> leave that to the professionals. I'm not one of them, but leave yeah. it to the professionals. Well, if you want to tell us where Don't to send home, your, uh, if you want to tell us where to send your body parts that fall off of us, Thank there you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Thank you, donors. I bet body parts, not money, but we'll take either. No, no, we'll take money. Wait, not body parts. money. Please send us yeah, money. Please, don't send no. us body parts. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I need to go back to sleep. Sleep is a love fucking of disaster. I don't, dude. I I can't type Welcome. tonight. It's okay. Welcome to the time car, guys. Hey, you know what? When it's when there's technical difficulties, it's a good show. When we're all just falling apart, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, at least the computers aren't. I guess. Hey, at yeah. least we have that new super fast internet that we're streaming from. Speak for yourself. I have the same old internet <laughs> as before. I have. I just got better internet last week. So. I don't That's even what know I can make for dinner. What kind internet? Of internet I have. No, I opened the fridge. I completely forgot that I bought two, uh, two of the Pillsbury tubes of biscuits. I was like, shit, okay. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I, biscuits. I'm going to... I have really wanted cinnamon rolls the past like week. Ooh, I want some cinnamon rolls. I and I'm really too freaking lazy to make myself some cinnamon rolls. I would make you some cinnamon rolls, but you're a little far away. You need some. Yeah. That's a little bit. You can fix that. I'm gonna be driving for twenty something hours next Thursday. Why? Why? I have to go all the way to Virginia. Oh, same question. I'm... You know why, Matt? No. Halloween in Virginia last time. It wasn't, but it wasn't. Things have changed. Um you let's can just, just answer yes. Say, we'll leave it at that. Let's just say I don't like people who used to be in my life who are no longer in my life. You could have just left it at you don't like people and I would have completely understood. Okay, we all understand that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean I'll be I'll be close, so maybe we can do something. Um well I'm only gonna be there for about Probably three hours, and then driving oh, back here. Bullshit. Oh well. Yeah, that is bullshit. I'll explain it. Uh, what are are we going to the lake this week, guys? I don't know. I wasn't broke. I may close tomorrow, and then have to cook five pounds of chicken wings. <laughs> have to. Don't well, yeah, because I took to. them out of the free. Because well. Okay. <laughs> I 
I get the pleasure. Right, I get the pleasure of cooking five pounds of chicken wings. But um, we had some, and they were all frozen in this block, and I couldn't really <laughs> get them apart. So I had to just unthaw them. And now I have five pounds of chicken wings that I have to cook tomorrow. A five pound block of chicken wing, chicken yeah, wings. I, I don't see a problem here. No, I'm. You know, if you guys want some chicken wings. Yeah. I'll keep that. What? Oh, Friday night. What are you guys doing? More uh, chicken wings? Gearing up for work on Saturday. Um, I I'm home. Saturday morning. Hmm. I'm home. <laughs> we might try to stream some on Friday night. And then maybe Saturday we could go to that one bar that's nearby in like a state over. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Huh. We can talk more about it afterwards. <laughs> Sorry, Cheerio. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, anybody else got anything that they want to add to the festivities? The festivities? Um, no. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Well. Let's start off strong, okay? We have yeah. a we have a Traxxas article for, for Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, Traxxas is back. Let's see so if it all goes downhill from here. Anything. Oh <gasps> is the Pro Graphics paint out? Ooh, TRX4 high output BEC. Okay. That'll go next week. I'm gonna say don't give too many spoilers. We really can't afford them. <laughs> So, well, I mean, this truck doesn't have a spoiler, so it's okay. How oh, hard are you, fucker? So, you guys have all seen my Traxxas Max that I love to drive everywhere and in all varieties of conditions. Sunny and partially cloudy. Um, I've also driven it in the snow and in the rain. And it also just happens to be the one that Matt you drove into a puddle I didn't drive it into a puddle I almost drove it into a no I think I did drive it yeah it was completely submerged it was completely submerged bro it's fine yeah it is fine and that's a testament to how awesome Traxxas engineering is so the holidays are coming up and it appears that we are just shilling for Traxxas now so Traxxas, if you're listening out there, if you want to send us a sponsorship, you can pay me in parts. Them too. Um. Mike, <laughs> don't send us your body parts. <laughs> RC so, car parts, fine. Body parts, not. No. Also, Traxxas just has a stash of body parts for humans, not for cars. Well, you see... Concerning. No, no, it's clear. I don't. That's the problem. Anyway, um, man, have you ever thought about, hey, I need a good holiday list of shit that I can get for my kid or, you know, maybe my nephew or maybe my best friend's kid or something like that. I was going to say you're batting a thousand on the, or batting <laughs> zero out of a thousand on those. Or, you know, maybe you're like Matt and you just want to treat yourself. Um, you know, uh, when I treat myself and I'm thinking about it in that sense, don't even say it. I'm don't even say it. Don't even say it. Don't even say it. Oh, okay. I'm too tired to think of getting like lotion. Innuendo. And, God damn it. Um, Kleenex. I forgot the word for Kleenex for a second. <laughs> <so>. Tissue. <laughs> yeah, I I forgot that one too. Matt, we we need to be honest with you here. Uh, you haven't we, been up until this point. We all know, well, even more honest, we all know that you're too cheap to buy Kleenex tissue. You buy the store brand. Actually, I will have you know, I bought Puffs today. All right. Take a picture okay, of them and I'll the believe you. the Puffs are the, look, I love the Puffs. We know you do, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I also love to take the Puffs. <laughs> 
I, I will believe it when I see it. I'm working on it. Calm down. So, the number one accessory to get for your Traxxas Max, let's say you just got it, or, you know, you have had it a long time, is the high inten- high intensity light kit. So be it. Ultra soft. There you are. The light kit? No, that <laughs> yeah. looks like halogens. No, it's, yeah, it's not very, it's LEDs. Not halogens. No, okay. no, 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 no. Halogens are gas still. Or, yeah, gas filament, I think, if I remember correctly. So, the the Traxxas, the LED, LED light kit for the Max, you can get the optional 6511 Bluetooth link and be able to control it with your phone. But it's got brake lights, reverse rat lights, daylight mode, all kinds of cool stuff. Plus, it even comes with the uh, high intensity, high voltage power amplifier. So, pretty good. Next up on the list would be the X Max. Yes, I said it. The X Max High Torque Metal Gear Servo for steering thank you sam mm-hmm. muscle up your max's steering with more tire turning torque it's got an aluminum heat sink on the case and waterproof construction adds a full set of metal gears for unbeatable strength so it's a pretty good truck or a pretty good upgrade for this truck it's kind of crazy that the X Max and the Max both accept the same steering servo, even though the Max is like half the size of the X Max. It really makes you think about how much power this truck actually has in it. Because you look at that. You look at that. That's the steering servo right there, the stock one. Okay. That's fucking huge compared to like a 10th scale steering servo. Anyway, moving on. Number three is the Wide Max Suspension Kit. Wide Max Suspension Kit. That, that, say that three times fast, Matt. No. Yeah. It adds 20 millimeters per side, over an inch and a half in total. Basically, it'll make your truck more stable and a hell of a lot more fun to drive. It is. <laughs> what I say? Nothing. It's what I said. Oh, what did you say? You'll see. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Where did you say it? Private? Uh, well, oh. I'm not going to blast that over the internet. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Good. The suspension kit? I don't know that you would want that. The last sentence you said before I sent the message. It could work. I'm just saying. (laughs) Adds over an inch and a half. No, the one after that. (laughs) (laughs) Stability and handling makes it more fun to drive. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, it's. I love you guys. (laughs) <laughs> you might so come much. To regret that. <laughs> I already regret it. <laughs> um, number four is a heavy duty pro graphics body. See that? It says heavy duty. Heavy nope. duty. Basically, it means that instead of being able to take one bullet, it can take. Slightly more than one bullet. Still less than two. But we're all we're not here for to shoot at the cars. But if you do want something that's bulletproof, try the number five, the steel CV drive shafts and 17 millimeter splined aluminum hubs. You cannot go wrong with this upgrade, guys. To be 100% honest with you, 
This is like and the... it comes in green. It does. <laughs> right? It comes in green. <laughs> it comes in green, blue, orange, red. Um, obviously. Let's know. see. Maybe it even comes in pink. Uh, would, pink is irrelevant. I would be torn. Pink would be cool because, you know, the thought robot. Um, that would be no. Nope. For mine, but you know, it would just be orange, green, red, and blue. Now right, those are kind of our colors, so I guess it works. The, yeah. Right. Well, except Cheerios got purple. Pink. Well, purple? they don't. No. Pinkish purple. Cheerio, what color are you? Fuchsia. Holy shit! I'm. Nobody answer that. Nobody answer that. Never mind. No. Okay. All right. Sorry, but that was a horrible statement. We expect them out of you, Mike. Don't worry. Agreed. <laughs> so how about some sledgehammer tires? These are what I just put on mine, and oh my god, it is so much fun. Sledgehammer tower tires? Tell me yeah. more. So they are a thicker tire, a more rugged design, more for off-road and, you know, the like. And not splitting your fucking wheel open oh, yeah tell me more yeah right. oh yeah it's tell great more. it's great to be able to go full fucking throttle and not have to worry about ripping that's what he said <laughs> I, yeah exactly <laughs> it was, there was something yeah i'd like to welcome someone to the podcast now austin hey mike how's it going buddy uh, it's going pretty well today that's good. What's up, um, Austin? Hey, what's up? We are still in the middle of our first news story for the night, and it is 17 minutes in. So, okay. yeah. It's about We're making, in the making good time. That's, I, I was going to say, we only got started like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what happens when we uh, when we do top ten lists. Well, either that or what happens when you get me just woken up and I'm even more spacey than normal. Even more? I think it's about normal. Anyway, yeah, number seven would be the... <laughs> right. Number seven would be the anodized aluminum suspension components. Here's a kind of a bunch of them. Green, orange, red. They're all done in blue as well, so if anybody wants that. Um... Color molded wheelie bar. So this one is weird. It comes in, I believe, white, orange, black, red, blue, green. Just like the rest of these guys. Which, by the way, okay, so you look at that. I need to send you guys a picture of mine later. Well, it's the tailgate cover that I have. But mine is pink now. That sounds rad. My orange tailgate cover turned pink. Leave it in the know. sun for too long? No. It is October. Yeah. <laughs> there is no sun anymore. I haven't seen the sun in days. I, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, uh, yeah. Number nine, hardened steel suspension pin set. Um, also available. Well... The 8940X basically improves your durability on your suspension pins. Replace the stock pin screw-in pins for even greater strength and durability in high-stress conditions. They're extra strong steel, so they resist bending. Uh, did you think about that after ripping a hole in your tire? And These? Yeah. I have these. I didn't know that. Yeah. You, if you want me to go through every upgrade that I've done to that truck, you just you just snap it to me. You just snap it to me and tell me. Um, I the only thing that's on this list that I haven't done is the servo. It's for steering. <laughs> the body. You, Sam. And these guys. Oh, also this. I don't need a blue wheelie bar but oh, why not? because I, don't know. I like my black wheelie bar oh and the last uh, thing you can do 
is the real time telemetry. So. Hey, Mike. Yeah. I'm going to eat dinner real quick and I'll be back. Do your thing, man. Take your time. All right. So let's move on to this guy. Oh, my God. Ow. It worked. What? I, I was I didn't do a good job tearing open the biscuits, so I just I had to break the thing open on my knee. Oh, I thought you were saying "ow" because I yelled really loud. Um, no, not yet. Okay, so you guys, I've told you got talked to you guys about the SCX ten, right? In the past, I feel like I want to say yes. So the truck that the Jeep. That I have the green Jeep. Yeah. That's an SCX 10 2. So take a look at this tiny baby Jeep. That is Aww. an SCX 10 right there on top. Okay. That's an SCX 24. Okay. I'd like, to, I'd like to introduce you guys to the SCX 6. Okay. Massive uh-huh. big bad boy. All uh-huh. right. <laughs> $1,100. If Jesus. anything, if anything could run down the turkey with the proper motor and speed controller in it and battery setup, it's this guy, okay? You mean the X-Max? Well, the X-Max could run down the turkey. Could probably oh, actually is... run down the perky, tor- turkey stock. That is a beefy motherfucker. Oh, that's what she said. Yeah, I kind of walked in that one. Uh, yeah. Speaking of turkeys, when I was, whenever I was last at my parents' yeah. house... I saw some turkeys just kind of walking through their backyard. Oh, yeah? Did you think about calling me over there? No, I, sir. I don't think of you oh, when I see turkeys. Here's a, compared to a person, he's yeah. a big boy. Yeah. That's, okay, that's the one. I think I sent you a picture of it on the counter. Sam? What? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's... No, you, you need some, uh, some additional words in your sentence there. The SCX-6. I sent a picture of it to Sam on the counter at work. That looks so like wow. So I, I okay, I really want to go in and like play with this transmission, okay? Like super, 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 super want to. Because it's got all the like updated features of the the axial transmissions and none of the tra- none of them that I've ever oh excuse me sorry I had Popeyes for dinner none of the transmissions that I've ever messed with from axial have had anything cooler than like a single speed or no yeah a single speed transmission in them um pre-order is are out now guaranteed to ship by 1029 so it's going to be fun when those finally start going out and getting seen places. I'm waiting for the first revision of it. Um, comes with a DX3 smart transmitter with thumb steer, five channel receiver, waterproof digital servo. It's Sam? For steering. Sorry. Thank you. It's for steering. But apparently this one's for shifting. This one is for shifting. Uh, Servo is for shifting? Two what? speed shifting. My whole world has been turned upside down. It's okay. You could even say it's been shifted. Hey. Positing. <laughs> uh, Spectrum Firma Crawler 120 amp sensored brushless smart ESC and a 1200 kV sensored brushless motor. Servo adapter for large scale servos, servos, servos. It's for shifting and or steering. <laughs> yeah. Um, needed to complete a 2S or 3S standard or shorty LiPo battery compatible battery charger. Okay, so here's my big gripe with this truck. Shorty. Shorty. <laughs> shorty pack. Short pack. Anyway. You see this? You see how it's got two slots for um, batteries here. Mm-hmm. It's only got one ESC wire, and on top of that, 
It can only handle up to 3S. My TRX4 handles 3S. And you mean to tell me that you guys put a ESC and motor in this thing that can't handle 3 can't handle 4S or 6S with the size of it? This thing is bigger than my X Max, okay? Maybe they are doing that just to make improvements on it in the near future. And they just want to get this stuff out. I mean, probably. Probably because if you look at this ESC and motor, it's probably over $600 worth of equipment right there. Um. <laughs> Couldn't you realistically, like, splice another cable into it and maybe make it a little bit better? In theory, yes. But okay. you wouldn't... You If you did that, you would only get... Um, you'd be run. You'd have to try to figure out a way to run them in parallel. Like, you'd have to get an adapter and run them parallel rather than... You could always switch out the... Series. Because... Motor. Yeah. Um, which a lot of higher end motors are going to fit on as, as long as it's got like clearance, which I was looking at this thing. There is like no room for a bigger motor in there. You see how close that is up there? Yeah. That's anything that you're going to find is going to be like all the way out to here. That's so. Cool. In theory, maybe you could get it to work, but you're going to have to modify a lot of shit. Maybe that's... That maybe this is, you know, maybe they're coming out with something else, too, and they just haven't said anything about it because they've been around. It's oh. possible. It's very possible, because it is Horizon Hobby, and this has been out for... not The truck itself hasn't been out, but it's been in stores for... What do we have in our cart? Just gonna nix that. You shopping, Mike? That's the shit that we did last week. Oh, okay. Or two weeks ago. Mm. Last week or two weeks ago. Anyway. Yeah, so I came into the hobby shop on Saturday and it's like, whoa! There was one of these on the counter. I was like, man. That's interesting. I'm upset that X that Big Squid didn't have it on there. We're not doing our job and they're not doing theirs. Most importantly, they're not doing our job. How dare they? Right. Um yeah, we were watching a bunch of videos about it too. And apparently this dude who's a well known YouTuber tried to sit on one and pull a car with it hmm. but whenever he would put the car into neutral you know how a lot of newer cars have a lock on there that'll hey once the car starts to roll and it's in neutral it'll lock right back up right if especially if it's pulled backwards a lot of them won't do it if it's pulled forwards but if it's pulled backwards immediately it'll just lock the transmission oh wow so the dude was trying to pull a newish Ford truck, not truck, but a, like a SUV with this guy and then getting like confused because it wouldn't pull it. It's like that thing has to have more than enough torque to pull the truck or pull the Is SUV. Is that lime green? Oh, it's not Ew. lime green. It's no. that pukey green. Baby shit. It's like rock Baby shit green. It's like my old Zune. Is there a guy in there? Does it come with a guy? Um, well, it's a guy and a girl, Sam. Let's see. What'd you say, Matt? <laughs> I said it takes a guy and a girl. It does. Yeah. It really. There does. is a gentleman in there, wearing a funny hat. Um, but yeah, if you want to try and pull your car, if anyone wants to try to pull their car with this, make sure you're actually staying in neutral. So you don't fuck up your truck. Or your car. Nah, fuck up your truck. I mean... I'm 
Good luck getting parts for it so far. I really still want to pull Matt's car with my X-Max. I don't think... You don't think my X-Max could pull Matt's car? <gasps> Matt, yours is perfect. You know why? You have the towing thing. Um, to pull other things. Yeah! Matt, it's perfect! I can pull the X-Max, Mike. That's no contest. You want to bet? No. I'll charge some batteries and we can go do this. Friday. Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Um, I moving on. Be, I would rather do something Saturday if you guys wouldn't mind. If no That's fine. Saturday. I will be at the be other place until 6, 6 o'clock. I have to work in the morning, but I'm free the rest of the day because... Matt, do you recall a long time ago we had... No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sam, do you recall a long time ago we had the Komodo double cab. Yeah. No. <laughs> so they have now put out the Komodo double ca double cab assembly kit. So if anybody wants to get into a Komodo, equipment needed: radio control, servo, ESC, motor, battery, and receiver. So you can kind of see this guy here. What is that on there? Is that like a fan spot above the motor? Oh, that's so cool. So here's here's my thing about this guy. Like the here's the receiver box. The battery tray is sideways as opposed to across the middle. Looks like there is a fan mounting point above where the I'm assuming the motor and servo, steering servo, would go. So that's definitely pretty interesting looking. Steel ladder frame. Um, real car frame, and the material of the frame is made of high-strength steel. With hex wrench bolted with cross members. And black powder coating to prevent rust. Um... C channel side rails, so that would be the shape of the side rails there. Yeah, so it looks like the motor goes under there and then the servo right next to it, and then I would assume that you can stick a fan, like I was saying, on that inner fender. What does it say? The motor is increase access, more tire friction, multiple yeah, battery mounting fan locations. Option. What? With cooling fan option. Yeah. Oh, it said it? Yeah, under front mounted motor. Oh. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for noticing that. I completely overlooked that. Can use all sizes of lipo and nickel metal. And can f be f freely located. GSO2F <laughs> can use all sizes of lipo batteries and nickel metal hydride batteries. And can be freely locate the battery position purpose of users you still fucked that up <laughs> trying to fix what they did i did i think we found the china the china product um chassis mounted servo system with pan hard bar so this is pretty cool um the way that this works is it's got a little point to kind of hold the chassis or hold the uh, front axle kind of stable to the chassis. And then this bar across the front ties the steering together to make sure that they're kind of set properly at proper so that they're, the toe in is proper. And then this guy up here attaches to the servo horn and basically pushes and pulls the the C hubs so that it can steer. It's pretty cool the way it does it. 
Here's a look at the inside of the tranny. Uh, what? The transmission. Okay, but you know what you said. I know what you heard. Drive lines. The front real front and rear axles are arranged in straight line to reduce the fatigue stress of the universal shaft and reduce the <laughs> loss of driving power by providing efficient driving lines. The universal shaft. The GSO these days. Yes. <laughs> the GSO two F transmission is is, is, is bad 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 bad. Is designed to look as real as a one one scale vehicle, and provides the best performance according to the drive situation. Hey Matt. Hey Mike. Let's see how much this is, and let's talk you into getting one of these, so that Good I can five. build it. It's only three hundred and twenty bucks. And it's made oh, in like, Korea, so you don't have to worry about... Never mind. I was going to say, I didn't think we talked about current states of affairs. We don't. Um, so it's got an overdrive setup, which means that the front wheels rotate faster than the rear. So it's like an overbite where the front is more? Sure. Um, you can go either no overdrive, overdrive one or overdrive two, which is going to be, so no overdrive would basically be the front and rear spin at the same speed. And then apparently they do it differently than the TRX four does it. I guess they would have to. Because the way that my TRX4 works is the overdrive gear is the is in either the front or the rear. Well, I guess it would be underdrive. Technically. Who Make knows? U turns in style. Yeah. Better Amazing. steering ratings. Better climbing. Papa John's. Um <laughs> 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 it's got a two-speed high-low transmission like the TRX4 <laughs> I'm not even going to address what I said <laughs> I didn't even hear what you said oh I said Papa John's oh no I heard that one. Oh, that was what I said I had that the other night it's pretty good yeah uh, have you tried their stuffed crust yet um no oh my god I just realized something it's so delicious you remember you remember very early on, Matt. I don't. I this may have been before Sam came along. We had a story oh, about God. Papa John's having stuffed crust pizza. Now, well, like as one of our news stories. Yeah, because <laughs> Eric <laughs> Eric said something about it, and I was like, "Fuck it, I don't have anything else to put on here." <laughs> so I went with it. Right. Um. Torque twist reduced transmission. So basically, the transmission is built in such a way that it'll reduce torque twist, which is really cool because even my TRX4 gets torque twist. Okay. Sorry, uh, the other Mike text me. Did you know there was a free online Pokemon card game? It's like, I did. We just we just did that one. Yeah, we did. Um, Where dual is he, slipper by the way? I don't know. Hold on, let me invite him. Would you like to come and hear more about it? There we go. If so, go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm about it here. Well, I mean, we could talk about it for like five minutes. You just woke up. What are you trying to go back the fuck to sleep? Yes. <laughs> I mean, hey, I didn't take a nap today. Okay, maybe that's why I'm so out of it. Neither did I. I normally. I don't. usually don't take a nap, so 
I would take one sometimes. GA44 axles. Okay, you know what? We've spent a decent amount of time talking about this truck. Let's get to the stuff that we care about, the shock absorbers. Looks pretty close to the TRX4 ones. Probably not quite as stiff. And the tires. All around, it looks like it's going to be a cool truck. I would Im I would be like immensely immensely excited to work on these one if I got the chance to if I only got the chance to um it's got a Lexan body heavy duty rear bumper roll bar off road roof rack. Anyway, <clears throat> fun stuff. LED light kit. Option parts, LED light kit. You can get a snorkel for it. Can you send it underwater then? Mm, sure. I mean, it has a snorkel. It'll be able to breathe. Right. Okay. Theoretically, it can go underwater. Yes, sir. And ma'am. I mean, anything can. Should right. it? Probably not. I mean, it's, again, it has a snorkel. It'll be fine. So does that mean that if we put a snorkel on my TRX-4, it can go underwater? It can. I don't know if it's being recommended, but anything is possible with a snorkel. Well, let's... Anything. Let's find out. Okay, buy a snorkel. We'll put it underwater. How would we mount that? One foot at a time. One foot, Ew. one foot at a time. Do you see waterproof on here? It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you literally highlighted the watertight. Water what I was going to say. Okay, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> we'll do it. Right. Here, let's not do it to mine. Let's figure out a way to get two new ones and do it to them. That's not summer. We could make a beach body pun or joke of some sort. Well, at that point, I would just, you know, yeah, put like a beach ball on the top of it, Velcro it to it, and just drive it around on the beach. Confuse the shit out of some kids. And some calls, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking seagulls. Anyway, so. I don't know if you guys recall us talking about this episode has a lot of weird callbacks, a lot of weird callbacks to previous stuff. Um, a long time ago, we talked about the Kyosho mini Z's. Hello. Hello. Hey, Mike. What's up? Nothing. Just got back. Right on. Um, I'm going to finish this up real quick. I've just got three more stories of mine, and then we've got Sam and then Matt. Um, okay. So, yeah, Racing has put out some internal shocks, internal shock shock sets for the Kyosho Mini Z, which is like a little tiny, 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 tiny little car. So you can kind of see how that would be set up. Except you really can't because it takes like a certain amount of different shit to get it figured out. Anyway, they start at, I want to say, 80 bucks? If there's a price. Yeah, I don't see a price on these. Do you guys? Uh, add it to cart. And I'll click out of that little X. Ah, damn. One item. Zero US dollars. I guess it's free. Yay! I don't have one of the... Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. Okay, let's see if this... Okay. Honey, I shrunk the fuel cell. Toyota makes a hydrogen-powered RC car. 
I just kind of took that for the pictures in the headline. So pretty soon we're not going to be using um, nickel metal batteries. We're going to be using water bottles. So it was a joint project between Tamaya and Toyota. They made a little bit, little hydrogen powered little thingy and it can be used. It can basically go. Turret is offering the 2021 Mar Mirai. Okay. Wait, are these actual cars or are they little cars? So there's an actual car and a little car. Because those prices say actual car. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to realize too, it, a tenth scale. Here, that's the that's the mini car. You can see the Tamaya set up down there on the bottom. And the big S E S C on there that's meant for like hydrogen whatever diffusion. However hydrogen powered motors work. Um moving on. I was really hoping that you wouldn't do this one, Matt, because I found it. And I was like, well, I saw that, and I, but I think that was after I already had two. So I was like, I don't need to do this. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to do more, you can always do more. An a Israeli scuba diver has discovered an ancient, an ancient sword off of the country's Mediterranean coast that experts believe dates back to the time of Crusaders. Your name here was recently on a weekend scuba dive. <laughs> Easy name. You're an easy name. Shut up. The weapon is thought to be some 900 years old. The treasures were apparently uncovered by shifting sands that revealed the artifacts hidden on the sea floor. I'm assuming there was more than just the sword found? No, I'll scroll back up. I think it said there was some pottery or something. No. Oh. Yeah, that's... Pottery fragments and metal anchors. Eh. Yep. The sword was in the sea. The sword in the sea. Wrong. All right. Sam? Well, that was a very brief article. Yep. Right. Hey, uh, Austin, would you mind turning off your mic for a few? Thank you. Anywho. Sorry. That was... Oh, you're fine. Preoccupied. You're this good. Was a Minecraft update. Is that a frog? Yeah. Frog. I think it's two frogs. Matt, when are you gonna croak? Ribbit. Whoa! <laughs> Not as soon as I'd like, Mike. I don't <laughs> even worry about it. Oh man. Whoa. Okay. I mean, I am beating it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. No, you've already. <laughs> No. No. No, Sam. Please. Anywho. So the new update, it says, let's see. Mangrove trees. I don't know what those are. They can be planted underwater or on land. They'll grow up into big masses of root blocks with vines hanging down around them. You can harvest them for new wood type. Frogs will also <laughs> debut. Thank you. I'm um, completely <laughs> animated croaks. They'll start as tadpoles, which you can put into a bucket and grow into one of three variant frogs, snowy, swamp, or tropical, based on the temperature of the biome they mature in. Frogs will eat fireflies, which are also getting added in, and will hop toward lily pads when they can. Yay. That's Sounds awesome. Like they're turning it into Planet Zoo. Oh, dude, there's all kinds of cool stuff in Minecraft. I will take your word for it. You can get mud by pouring water on dirt <laughs> in Minecraft now, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> turn it into clay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Matt! That one was you. Don't even fucking try to right. burp. I might burp again, but that one was you. <sighs> I'm sorry, Sam. Anyway, I'm listening. Whatever. Hold on, I'm trying Perhaps to... most importantly, 
boats with chests in them. Whoa. Chests. Are we going? We're not going back to this fucking Geico boat, are we? No, we're not going uh, back to the Geico boat. Okay, good. Let's see. <laughs> oh. But anyway, so yeah, there's a new Minecraft update. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple things in there. So remember that little telephone, that um, the Fisher Price telephone. Now it'll. Now it's creep you out. Bluetooth, and it'll creep you out even more. Um, the new Fisher Price Chatter Telephone Bluetooth Edition is admittedly an accessory rather than. A fully fledged mobile device. It connects to your Android or iOS phone over Bluetooth. You can actually dial numbers using the plastic rotary dial and answer and hang up calls by lifting and replacing the handset on the cradle. There's even a loudspeaker function for when you're ta taking that super important conference call to try and nail down who took your calls. Huh? That's clever. All right. And then there's a couple pictures here. You can charge it. It's Bluetooth connected. You can make calls. Cute. That's a lot of power to give a small child. Okay. <laughs> it's not all good news, though. Rather disappointingly, the $60 gadget charges via the extremely outdated micro USB. But that's an appropriately retrograde choice. The phone is available for to pre order ex exclusively at Best Buy. Though it's not clear when it will be shipping. You can at least rest assured that supplies won't be affected by the chip shortage, and we expect that more than a few households will be adorning their home offices with one of these beauties come Christmas time. Would you guys get one? No. I would buy one as a gag gift. <laughs> uh, Just imagine who is going to get that gag, gag gift. Yeah, I mean, like, right. I, I don't have a home phone like it's okay uh, it uses bluetooth you know what i don't know i'm really torn maybe just just for shits and giggles if you paint it white you could call it the new iphone and put like an apple logo in the middle god. you wouldn't even have oh my god you wouldn't even have to change the colors on these guys you just paint this white this white this gray, this gray, gray, white, sand the face off of it, put an Apple logo in the middle. The new iPhone. You can now order the new Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis <laughs> controllers for the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no, not taking any of your shit today. Who, me? Is what, yeah, that's what you just said. Well, you know. <laughs> so, to faithfully play the Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis games coming to Nintendo Switch, you're going to want the original controllers, right? I mean, I could care less if I had the original controllers, but that's just me. Um, I'll, I'm, I thought about buying the... For 50 the bucks. One. No, I thought about oh. buying the 64 one. Uh, yeah. it, I think that'll work with my computer, too. Oh, really? Yeah, look how much well, I play. If it, will, uh, if it work for the computer, then yeah. I'll use, I'll get, I would get the N64 one. I'm going to try it. You're going to want to. Nintendo has posted pages for both the revised N64 and Genesis controller, and you can buy one right now. If you're a subscriber to Nintendo Switch Online, each one costs 50 bucks, includes a USB C charge, includes USB C charging. Um, it includes built-in rumble for games that support it, like Star Fox 64. Both controllers are set to ship on October 25th, and Ooh. Nintendo is limiting it account holders to four of each. Um, Joke's on you, I'm gonna get five. Like, it looks like to get access to the N64 and Genesis games, they're gonna up the cost of your membership. Yeah, like 50 bucks more. Is that it going to be 50 bucks more? Yeah. That's at least what I was reading. That's but. horrible. How much? For the whole year, though? Yeah. Oh, it's just 50 for the whole year. That's not bad. 
That's about the same as any of the other ones, right? I mean, think of it as just under a dollar a week. That's not too bad. But I mean, I would do it for Genesis games and N64 games. No, me too. So, not a problem there. I just don't know if I want to spend the money on the controllers. If they come out in different colors, I'll I'll buy one immediately. What if they had the clear like purple? I would one? buy it immediately. I purple. dude, I would. I think I I had okay the two special edition controllers that I had for the sixty four. I had a the like the green one, mm-hmm. and I think I had a, if I remember correctly, a clear green one. Maybe it was the clear green one. I had the clear purple one. Yeah, jungle green. But I had a regular old gray in the Nintendo sixty four. I had a black but one. I had the clear or the black one. Yeah. But I had the clear purple one, the clear purple controller, and a gray one. Look at that! Oh my gosh. That actually looks really cool. It does. Is that yellow or green? It's like a highlighter, greenish yellow kind of. Now, I like that one too. And that one. Nintendo six, Nintendo sixty foes. Yeah. In fact, well, maybe I will go back and see if how uh, modifiable these things are. Uh, Fuck you, too. I'll pass, but thanks. October 25th. Yeah, so. I think, look, it might be worth getting the controllers for it. Playing an N64 game with the N64 controller. You know, I'm going to say this. As much fun as I have with, like, the Xbox controller. Yeah. I probably would pick up the 64 controller and just, like, remember all of the pain okay. of, like, your your freaking palm from yes. the from the freaking thumbstick trying to spin that as fast as you can and okay you know the feeling of when this thumbstick actually breaks and the awful analog buttons hmm. like you don't know this but controller technology is so much better now it is it's so much smoother it is so much smoother like even more so than like the Xbox, th- the original Xbox, you go to the Xbox One and it's just so much, it's so nice. Okay. As a person who's taken apart about a thousand original Xbox controllers, I can say this I have no need to take apart any of my Xbox One controllers. Well, that's good. Yeah. How the Xbox One controller works? What about it? No, I don't. I don't care about how the Xbox One controller works. No. Dang. USB C charging. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's no, most that's of the Android good. Phones. Yeah, that's what I've got now. So. So for my last story of the evening, I just thought this was kind of cute. Apparently, the Doom Slayer and the and Isabel from Animal Crossing are a thing. The two met back in March 2020 when their respective games, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing, came out on the same day with the vast differences between their two lines of work. The pairing was regarded as little more than an accidental meeting. So, they're a thing. And I think it's kind of adorable. Holy 
Slayer. Some kind of weird Animal Crossing Doom crossover. But you know. But okay. These are all their little tweets. I think this is funny. Happy New Horizons. The Doom Slayer and the thing. And then um, Nintendo put something up here and it said Doom said, Will Isabel be there? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Whoa, that looks weird. Together at last. Together, so the happy together. event also heralds the release of Challenger Pack 11 that, a feature, that features several Mii Fighter costume editions as well as the arrival of final DC, DLC Fighter Sora of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah. Oh... So, they're a thing now, I guess. Together in Paradise. In Super Smash Bros. Paradise. I gotta play that game some. Yeah. I think I hear somebody playing Metroid. Ooh, how, has he beaten it yet? No, he just got back. Oh. Well, he hasn't played it in a couple days. He just got back to the apartment, so... And then all of a sudden I started hearing Metroid noises, so there's that. But anyway. So yeah. This little dog thing from Animal Crossing and the Doom guy are a thing. Yay. A match made in hell. A match made on an island in hell. There you go. <laughs> Have you has anybody here played Animal Crossing? No. 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 What about you, Austin? I have not. It's definitely not a game that you would expect anyone who likes Doom to enjoy. I'll say that. Right. My kid loves it. I also like Doom. I am more of a like Final Fantasy kind of guy, and I like Final Kingdom Fantasy Hearts. As well. That's why when the whole Kingdom Hearts article that one day came up, it was just like, oh fuck off. So, <laughs> Matt, your turn. All right. <clears throat> so I will warn ahead of time um, this title is uh, the actual contents of the article are a little anticlimactic compared to the title so apparently when they were initially building the Dark Brotherhood quest line in Skyrim uh, the ending of the quest line was a little bit different than how it actually played out so this yeah. is something that Bethesda has been doing to celebrate the fact that Skyrim has been consistently played for 10 years and probably isn't stopping anytime soon. Uh, they've been going and sharing little snippets of information that they've just been hoarding onto. And apparently, the quest line of the Dark Brotherhood was originally going to end with players... Okay, this this shouldn't be spoiler alerts, but I'll just warn anyway. If you have not yet played the game and are planning on it, leave now and never come back. Um, I, I can't do the Smeagol voice. So I can only do Gollum. Um, but they were going to have it end with players killing the Emperor's body double uh -huh. instead of the actual oh. Emperor. Wait, Star Wars? Yes, Strikes Back. I mean, Dang, that's, you ran that's her off. Really, all, all it is. Um, apparently, when the uh, design director pitched the idea to, I guess, one of the game developers, um, he said, and in the end, you kill the body double. Whoever he was pitching it to just stared at him. He was like, that's a really fucking lame idea. 
If you're to kill a body okay. double, kill the emperor. Right. Uh, that's that's the whole of that article. Um, just a little advertisement that originally the quest was supposed to be really shitty, and now they made it slightly better. Hmm. Yeah. And now for the so named article. Yeah. So, uh, if we were actually ever thinking about um, taking the Max and driving it around underwater. We should uh, bring it to China, where if you look in the right place, you could find the fossil of a dog-sized sea scorpion. Oh, shit. That they found. Um, that is that is a very large nope. That, that, that is a nope. Why do you think the episode title is gigantic or giant arachnids or whatever giant arachnids yeah um, well is, actually that is a giant nope it's technically not an arachnid it's a eurypterid which is an ancient arthropod that closely relates to arachnids and horseshoe crabs hmm. uh, anyway it was a I guess on average, meter long sea scorpion that was active in China about 435 million years ago. Uh, it was set up. I thought it was set up kind of like a, uh, a whip scorpion, but I'm not seeing about where that was, so I guess that was a lie. Um, so it would use its giant spiny arms to ensnare prey. Oh, it's a sea scorpion, so I guess it didn't really have a stinger like what we think of with, I yeah. guess, modern day scorpions would have. It's only got six legs. Well, six legs and then the pedipalps. Yeah. The front arms. Right, the appendages. Normally, they're used to transfer sperm from male to female spiders. Uh, but at least in whip spiders, they've been adapted to catching prey. Interesting. Yeah. I uh, lived about then. Um, at, when it was around, it would have been the apex predator. Yeah. Uh, preying mostly on fish and mollusks. Jesus. Oh, okay. So Eurypterus <laughs> as a whole. Sorry, I I was reading ahead and I saw something that would terrify me because I misread it to start off with. Um, so ancient arthropods like this one ranged in size from roughly a human hand to a whole ass adult human. That that no. Yikes. Yeah. Like, are we talking? Us human or Nick human? Uh, yes, I don't know. <laughs> all I all I hear is human and and I just big ju no no. Nope. I also feel that way about humans. <laughs> right. Let's see. So, the main man in this article. Or, sorry, a co-author of the article or the new study. His name is Bo Wang. <laughs> I, I thought like you'd appreciate of, that, Mike. I feel like we've heard of Bo Wang before. Have we? Bo Wang's big in, like, Japan. Maybe. But... Maybe with the last week's article about um, Neanderthals? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, um, the just no, no big yeah. giant ass scorpion, no, no. Let's good. let's never, let's never have these exist and say that we didn't. Yeah, um, it is the first mixed doctorid. I'm not entirely sure, but 
Oh, it's a certain family of. And it's it's head. it's not even like I can drop kick it. It, it it would eat me. So no, and I can't set it on fire. Maybe. Uh, well, not while it's underwater. Well, fuck! I can't That's can't drown worse. it. Can't set it on fire. So um, no. How about how about never ever ever. No. You say that. Just wait. It'll find you. It will find you. And and it it will will eat your soul. With a side of chicken wings from Sam. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's all I got. Stabby rip stab stab. Nope. I'm in for both articles. <laughs> yeah. One is stab a person, the other is a scorpion could stab a person. Just no, never again. Like your sphere of spectres. It's just it's just like it, it's it's near the same family. It's it's all just a no. I don't even want to think about it. Well, on that note, I will leave you to think about your giant scorpions and have sweet dreams about them. <laughs> oh, are you actually leaving? It's a good segue. I I work tomorrow morning. My schedule oh. got shifted around. That sucks. I'd rather work in the morning than the evening. Well, me too, but I'm just saying, like... That sucks that you have to go already. I mean, I probably would have been leaving sort of soonish either way yeah with that headache i would have wanted to just head it off i see well so i'll talk to cheerio and austin then for a little bit how are you two since matt's gonna be a little bitch fuck oh motherfucker (laughs) yeah have a good night matt Damn it, I, it, uh, I didn't hang up. <laughs> the wrong button. <laughs> I was really hoping I'd just drop a cock on, motherfucker. Oh, uh, man. I stopped that's... watching the stream instead of leaving the call. <laughs> well, cock on, motherfucker. Listen here, bitch. Liffin? Liffin. Liffin? Liffin, Linda. Okay. All right, so we could do what? We could do one of two things. We could play a game while we talk, or I can play a game while we talk. Um, probably, I don't know. What do you want, Austin? Y'all can play a game, because I don't have a Switch. Well, we're not going to play on a Switch. We're going to play PC oh. games. Oh, what do you got? What's on my browsing history in Amazon? This is probably a bad... I'm going to take this off the stream. Yeah, that that is a terrible idea. Ooh. I mean, you can play a game unless we're going to play like Uno or something. Um, My brain is, is currently in the, in the trash right now. Well, I'm trying to find something. But I guess I'm not going to find it. Um, You don't want to play Minecraft? Um, I have to update it. I forgot to update it. I mean, it's only so, uh, the server is only up to like one point seven, so. Yeah, I don't even think I don't. I uh, know I don't have it on this computer. Fuck me. You know what? I'm just gonna play um mod loader. Where's there we go? Let's hit that, and we will start up Majora's Mask. I've been enjoying this game a lot lately, so I need to find it. Mod loader GUI. Hopefully it pops up on the right screen. So, Austin, did you ever get a chance to watch that latest episode? Of what if or Yeah. Or any of the other episodes? Yeah, I finished the series. Was I right? 
Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. The story sucked. Too uh, much. Uh, too much bagging on. Pandering. But too much pandering and too much bagging on Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they weren't. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Which, with what if they had like all the opportunity in the world to make such a great show? And yeah, because I can't, I can't complain about the animation. I thought the animation was amazing. Oh, of course, the animation always is though from Marvel. Unless you get into something like you know, freaking the animation in Black Panther. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one was pretty bad. I mean, it was a good, decent movie. It was just... The CGI was not as... I think that, what, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man had better CGI? <laughs> Alright, Cheerio, oh, are you watching? Or? Yes, I am. Okay. Is the audio coming through okay? Yes. Cool. It's been it's been fine the whole time, so. Awesome. I like shows where I don't have to adjust anything. Um. Did so the ep the the scene in which the watcher snatches Gamora from? Did that scene feel yeah. like super out of place to you? It did. It felt... I don't know if it was because they were on... Um, what's that planet that Thor got his new hammer from? Vidavalier? Yes. We probably shouldn't spoil this for Cheerio, or... but... Feel free. Okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I'm positive. Okay. Yeah, uh, Vidavalier kind of came across as kind of a joke looking because you in uh, the MCU it was so dark it, it was destroyed yeah but it was <laughs> it was so bright like it was so much brighter in what if like to a point where it was kind of like well why is it so bright here because even if you don't have like Let's say that you've got a destroyed environment. It's not going to make everything like... I understand lack of light matters, but it's not going to make everything completely different, you know? Yeah, no, it felt like such a different place. Which it was I... still destroyed. Yeah. In that timeline. Was it? Yeah, that's what I got from it. Because did each tree like... have his hands, do you remember? He had his hands still. I thought he did. Uh, I thought he didn't. Because I thought it went like kind of the same, except somehow Iron Man ended up in space. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would have had it would have had to have because bad, yeah. what? I guess that the. I mean, it all kind of depends on where you think the uh, scene, the after credits scene where Thanos says, "Fine, I'll do it myself." comes into play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because if that takes place where it's shown, there's no reason for it to be there. Because what was that in Age of Ultron? Uh, yes. There was Age of Ultron. So, the issue That's with... When we saw that scene. Yeah, the issue with that scene being there is why would that have anything to do with Ultron Rising. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, Thanos doesn't have any bearing on Ultron. Thanos it may have inspired the Ultron project, you know, a suit of armor around the world. But Thanos isn't, like, controlling Ultron secretly. In fact, if anything, Thanos would be like, why is this stone acting on its own? 
Stop it. Burn it down. Kill it with fire. That whole thing. <laughs> Which, how did you feel about, um... Did you... I don't know if you saw it, but... Thanos getting killed by Ultron? I was indifferent. It didn't feel like an, it didn't feel impactful for me. Like, I could. Oh, it's about to go. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. I just don't feel like it was an impactful scene for me. I feel like if anything, they the actor that made Ultron, Ultron, was James Spader. Hmm. From the MCU. Like. Yeah. If you look up any of the scenes with him. Like talking. That it just. It's so good. Like. When you think of the character Ultron. And you think of it with any other voice. It just doesn't sound. Accurate. You know. And that, I think that that's yeah. part of what kind of killed me about the character. It's like, uh, this is technically Ultron, but this isn't Ultron. This is um, a disappointment, if anything. Um. I don't know. Infinity Ultron being the ultimate... I I told you how many weeks in, like, the moment that they introduced Infinity Ultron, I, or Ultron, whatever, what if Ultron had won? I knew... Yeah, you did say that. I was like, no, this... Ultron's gonna be the... I might have actually said it before, didn't I? Before that. Yeah, you said it before. Um, I don't know when, but you said it. I was kind of like... I, I mean, was... kind of joking, too. Yeah. I was, but turns out Marvel is yeah, just a joke. About it is, I was thinking about the other day. There wasn't like a big lead that got us to see that. These all felt like individual things. Yeah. And none of it led up to like Ultron or anything. Right. It, But like, it, it kind of makes sense after the fact that it led the the story led up to the um, not the creation of Ultron, but the formation of the whatever the I can't remember what they called themselves the Guardians of the Multiverse. I think, which. If you kind of think of it that way, it makes it even worse that Gamora's episode got canceled. Oh, I forgot that guy canceled. Yeah, because if you think that's, about that's it... That's why that felt so weird. Yeah. Well, Gamora is, like, talked about in the show as though she were some sort of god-tier character for having beaten Thanos. Which, granted... She kind of kicked the shit out of the MCU's previous villain. Like the main bad guy. She deserves to kind of gloat a little bit and be like, hey, yeah, I'm badass. And it's a good character to do that with. Because Gamora has always kind of been... Ne Nebula has always kind of been the, like, tra not treacherous, but the... Uh, the one that turns on Thanos, like, mm -hmm. in the Infinity Saga and kind of, like, defeats Thanos. But at the same time, she's also the character who always kind of defeats Thanos and then tries to take power for herself. So, for, um, for Gamora to kind of get a chance to shine like that, and then they kind of, they just, they just, like, flop it out and, like, no, nope, we don't want this character to have this moment. 
that they rightfully deserve. I think that, honestly, I think it was cut because it didn't pander enough to, like, a character, like, that is, or it, maybe it pandered too much to, like, fans of Stark. Hmm. That's the only thing I could think of. Because based off of, like, the Lego set for the armor... Dude, the armor looks like it would be super cool. Like... Oh, it's got a Lego set and everything? Yeah. Yeah, it's... I have not seen that. It's out and, all, and everything. It's, I forget low-key Lego's spoil. Yeah. <laughs> Franchises. <laughs> well, you want an even bigger spoiler? From Lego? Yeah. They just put out a Titanic Lego set. Oh my god. Or they are putting out a Titanic Lego set. It's like $800 or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's... I mean, it looks really, really cool. And if you know me, you know that I'm like super into that kind of stuff and enjoy like reading about the Titanic and everything, but $800 its a lot of money. Still there, Cheerio? Mm -hmm, I'm still here. I'm just listening. Okay. Making sure. What do you want to talk about, Cheerio? Nothing, really. Like I said, I'm just enjoying listening to the conversation and watching. Okay. Um, what have you been working on outside of work, uh, Austin? Um, right now, honestly, yeah, I'm animating right now. Okay, I'm creating an anime short. Anything cool that you want to share uh, or no? I can put it on the Discord real quick. Only if you want to. You don't have to. It's cool. It's fine. I'm not going to be able to check it right away, so take your time. Dum dum da 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 little do 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 you all right? Uh, yeah, I was just thinking, you know, I was talking to you about uh, Injustice getting, like, the cartoon movie. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely should have uh, been more of a series. Yeah. I... It's not as, it's not terrible, but... Is it out already? Not enough time. Uh, there are a lot of leaks. Oh. Maybe they might There's change not... their mind, and I'm sorry to interrupt. Maybe they might change their mind and um and make it a cartoon series. I hope they probably will. Hopefully, it's very popular. Injustice is one of their like, not to, not to like throw shade at Injustice, but to be 100 percent honest, Injustice seems more like the, a de the it would get a not a live a or. Injustice seems like the type of property that they would convert to a live action project, not a cartoon. Because it's more of an adult property. You know? Yeah. Um, as long as they don't handle it the way that they handled the, what was it, Titans? With the edgy Robin? <laughs> Fuck that man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have yeah. you seen have you watched that show at all? Uh I've only watched like certain episodes out of order. And I don't know, I don't like the costume designs. I couldn't follow what was going on at a certain point, so I it got confusing because I thought it was about Raven and like Trigon. Yeah. 
seems but, like they doubled down on that. And then they go like off the left field with um Oh, what was it? The what was it, a gang thing? Yeah. I can't even really remember exactly what it was, so. They just ended up doing something else. I remember, um, I remember Black Canary and, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I don't, I saw that. was it Black Canary or was it someone else? It was White Canary. Because I thought that, I thought they, they made, do... I thought they made Black Canary, took her from being like a white blonde woman and made her something else that was... Another yeah. one of those, why not just make a whole new character and... Because, I don't know, I saw, I saw that episode. One like, night. she gets, like, thrown off of a building or something? Yeah, and it was like, uh, Nightwing, Dick Grayson was looking for Black Canary. Yeah. There was some stupid was crap like with a, that. What's her name, the Huntress? Well, the character's kind of self-conscious and my, like her ideology. My whole thing is like they completely made Starfire into a joke. Yeah. Like I don't Starfire's like known in the comics for really long hair and a short purple skirt and orange skin am I wrong no no you're not wrong at all. <laughs> like um, I, I argued with someone I said uh cause the original Starfire uh artist they based it off of uh, a Brazilian dancer I don't know yeah. what her name is but if they're gonna do anything they yeah they've done that right and after I heard that like her costume design makes sense. Yeah. But then you've got people who are like, well, Power Girl's costume makes no sense. Damn right it doesn't. You know why? <laughs> because Power Girl as a character makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> She's allergic to everything but kryptonite. Yet she somehow survives in our reality that is in basically kryptonite to her. How does that make sense? Yeah, it really doesn't. Um, what was it? I remember watching the Justice League and they, they completely botched that one. Like the cartoon series. Yeah, well... Um, so there was, okay. Was it Justice League or Justice League Unlimited that had Hawk Girl in it? Uh, both of them did. And because, like an alien. yeah. And they kind of, they did like, so depending on the, when you paid attention, they got her, uh, backstory right, like, half of the time. Because she was supposed to be basically a detective from another uh, planet, basically, that got transported to Earth and couldn't... The, the whole story for her is super, like, it's... I don't understand it too well, because it's just difficult to... It's literally if they yeah, tried I to, like, explain magic in the MCU await. Oh, um <laughs> what they do because they doubled down on that in unlimited. Well there was a whole story arc written for it where she was yeah. basically supposed to betray the Justice League. Yeah, and it was, it was like prophesized in Egypt. <laughs> well that was from like the start of the show, that was literally planned is the issue that nobody understands or nobody realizes like the, the writers have gone on and said yeah we uh we knew from the beginning that there had to be a character that betrayed the justice league and it couldn't be the new green lantern 
It couldn't be the Flash. It had to be her. And it's just like, okay. I'm not necessarily in enti- I'm not necessarily entirely attached to the character. So it, I'm no. not sure it really matters, but okay. Which I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's because they kinda had a plan for where they wanted to go with the character and did it. So I don't know what I'm complaining about. Hmm, that show was okay. Uh, um, Justice League, the original was pretty good, I recall. Yeah, it was unlimited for me. That's when I kind of stopped watching. Do you remember um, Static X? Static X. Yeah. yeah. It sounds no, familiar. Sta- not Static X. Static X is the band. Um, Static Shock. Yeah, I knew I you were going to say Static Shock. I do remember that show. Uh, Wayne... No, not... That's the. That's still the band. Wayne Static. <laughs> um, I can't remember what his name was. Uh, it's Virgil. Similar to... Devil May Cry. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. That show makes me laugh now because you can tell they had a limited number of voice actors. Well, that's like, um. If you go back and you watch a lot of TV shows, there's a lot of actors that voice multiple characters. Oh, yeah. There was one of them that I noticed, like, four voice actors playing this, like, or the same voice actor playing, like, four or five characters. And I was just like, I don't understand what's going on here. Which is hilarious because I think the Venture Brothers was one of those shows that did that too. I'm so sad that they're not doing the uh, season 8 or 9, whatever. 8. Oh yeah, because the uh, Warner Media canceled it. Yeah. Fucking Warner. First they mess up Rooster Teeth and now they mess up the Venture Brothers. Wait, they messed up Rooster Teeth? Yeah. Yeah. Have you paid any attention to Rooster Teeth lately? No, I really haven't, to be quite honest with you. It's a mess. They, uh... They went full on, uh, Get Woke. And... They're going broke. Seems like they have a lot of internal issues, too. Yeah. A lot of internal issues. I never figured out if Jeremy Dooley was still there or not. (laughs) I probably could look it up, but... I'm too lazy. Come on. Let me out of the water. There we go. All right. And then, um... What was it? Oh, Red vs. Blue Zero? I still haven't watched that. I think they're 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 uploading it to YouTube now, so it's gonna be more accessible. <laughs> I love doing that. I guess I missed a lot. What? 
when it came to Rooster Teeth and all that, I remember watching them like when they first started. Yeah, they uh, they jumped the they jumped the shark. Like hardcore jumped the shark. Are you looking them up right now, uh, Cheerio? I was thinking about it. You should look and see if you can figure out if Jeremy Dooley is still there. Because he was one that was always kind of interesting to watch. Him and Ryan Haywood were like my two favorite people there. And Jeff Ramsey. For Achievement Hunter. Oh, I love Jeff. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's the best, dude. Um, I remember him taking a long time off, at which point I was kind of like, yeah. Just, Did he? Uh, I thought he... I thought he died. Jeff Ramsey? No, Jeremy Dooley. No, not that no. I'm aware of. As of like three months ago, he was still at Rooster Teeth, I think. Who the fuck? Who the fuck died then? Oh, was it Etika? Who not a Rooster Teeth person, but oh, Monty Ohm died. Yes. This little little blip it says initial alarm about Jeremy leaving stunned from him not being frequent sight on achievement on our videos. Huh. Ever since the the pandemic. Interesting. However, he will continually being a to continue being a part of the achievement hunter family and will work remotely with the team. June eighth, twenty twenty one. I think it's been since then that I've or maybe before that that I had read that he was apparently planning on leaving when the pandemic was over so maybe they maybe something was going on that they let me let me check I'm checking it right now all right I've got that one what songs do I have? I need the Sonata of Awakening. That is... Stone Tower. That was weird. No, no, he's not gonna leave. He uh, he just uh, moved because of the pandemic, and um, they don't know if they're gonna stay there or not, or what's going on with that. But right now, he just looks. He just works remotely. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't depend on what I just read, though. Nah, eh, I mean, I depend on it more than what anything that I've read, if not just as much. All right.
Do, 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 do. Um, that's weird. All right. Oh, Shnikey. <laughs> That's funny looking. That, um, that timing right there is great. Ah! He fell to his death. This is a weird song. Oh, man. Okay. Jump across. I'm probably gonna call it a night after I get to the top of the stone tower. That's fine. You do you. It's been a long day. Yep. I understand that. And I'm looking forward to laying in my bed and temporarily passing away. That was a hell of a way to put that, but okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that there's people out there who would rather I permanently pass away, but, you know. They're just gonna have to live with it. Wow, wow. Oh! He just hud butted the fuck out of you. He. It. I don't is know. Is gonna die a slow and painful death. In the fuck are you? Azora. Oh, remember. I really haven't played any of these games. Why not? I just haven't. I wanted to download the mod loader on my uh, on my PC, but never did. Do it. Wanted to download something like this onto my computer? Yeah, do it. I just need the details. I've forgotten about it completely. Go to modloader64.com. That works. They can't give you the ROM, but as long as you can get the ROM, you're fine. There's all kinds of... stuff out there. Plus, you could also get it legitimately. If you have a Nintendo Wii. I have an old Nintendo Wii. Yeah, that's fine. It's all... Um, I'll explain it later. Yeah. In a way that's not tele-broadcasted across the network interwebs. Yeah. So what programs do you use to animate? Uh, I use Toon Boom Harmony. Okay. Have you used anything other than that? Uh, and I am starting to use Blender. 
Or, and there is better. Well, Mike, I've always kind of thought of Blender as like a 3D... Like, uh... Yeah, but they let me do 2D stuff on there, too. Oh, really? Yeah, so I can mix and mix it up. Okay. And I it's mean, free. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, with that, I'm going to save and call it a night. I gotta work All early right. tomorrow, so... All right. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on, both of you. Everybody you know, enjoy your night. And... You know I'll be here if I can. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll see you later, Mike. Yes, sir. I'll see you Sunday at work. Yes, I'll be there. Right on, man. Have a I good night. Will, I will talk to you soon. Bye.